Hello, I'm Ambassador Judith Sefkin, and I would like to talk to you today about a really important topic, which is gender empowerment. Today, March 8th, is International Women's Day. This day, which is marked all around the world, including in the South Pacific, is a call to action for the advancement of women. And the theme for this year's International Women's Day is Be Bold for Change. Gender equality and women's empowerment are essential for stronger and more prosperous societies. When women fully participate in a country's economic, political, and social spheres, all of society benefits, and countries are more likely to be stable and peaceful. Yet, in many countries, women and girls face challenges holding them back from full and meaningful participation in society. One such challenge is violence. More than one in three women globally are affected by violence during their lifetime. This needs to stop. And we all, men and women, government and civil society, have to work together toward this goal. The road to equality for American women has not been easy, as depicted in these posters. It took us more than half a century of determined political activism to win the right to vote. That was in 1920, when finally, through the 19th Amendment to the Constitution, the right for women to vote was granted throughout the United States. When I joined the United States Department of State, there were just a handful of women in leadership positions. I am proud to say that while not perfect, our diplomatic corps and our society in general are now much more harmonious and balanced in that regard. A lot of progress has been made in many other countries around the world to ensure women's rights, but there is still much work to be done. Later this month, Secretary of State Tillerson will host the ceremony where he will honor 12 women of courage from around the world for their work in advancing human rights and advancement of women and girls. And I would like to use this opportunity to reaffirm our commitment to promoting gender equality and advancing the status of women and girls as a key U.S. foreign policy priority. Happy March 8th, everyone.